Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I created a tutorial on how to um, host your website on your EC2 instance and I didn't explain all the steps in detail and for some people that are beginners some of the steps was confusing. So I'm creating this tutorial to explain the entire process um, in detail. So I'm not going to miss any step. I'll show you everything from beginning to end. To start make sure you have your web files ready this is on my desktop and I have the folder for my website with all the files in it so make sure you have that ready that's the step one and this is on my desktop good so I have it in this folder come to the management console on the management console the first thing we want to do is create an S3 bucket and transfer our files into the S3 bucket select S3 and select create bucket give the bucket any name you want so i'll call my test and my name just a unique name and i'm going to put the bucket in the us east is one so when you are creating your bucket name remember s3 bucket name has to be unique regardless of the account so don't use the same name i'm using use a different name and come down and click create bucket and that's the first thing. I have my bucket here. I'm going to go into that bucket. While in my bucket, I'm going to minimize a little bit. Come to the folder on my desktop for my web files. I'm going to select all this file. So you know how you can select all the file by clicking the top one, holding down the shift key and selecting all those files. And I'm just going to drag it in here. And I'm going to, once I drag everything in there, I'll click upload. The reason why I was doing that is I don't want to upload the folder with it. And I don't want to zip the folder to upload it to my S3. I just want to upload all the files. For S3, you can select and drag. Once we've done that, that's the first step. Then now we can move on to the next step. The next step, we need an IAM row, right? Because now we have our file in S3. The, our EC2 instance needs, needs a way to be able to communicate with S3 to download this file. And how you will give your EC2 instance permission to be able to download the files from S3 is you will create an IAM rule and assign it to the EC2 instance. So to do that, let's come to IAM. We will select role, create role, and we want an AWS service role because it, it is another AWS service, which is your EC2 instance that is going to be using the role. We'll select EC2, select next for permission. And under permission, type S3. And you should see this Amazon S3 full access, select it. And click next for tag and next for review. And on the review page, give it a name. I'll call it X, S3 full access. I'll leave the description as the same. And the policies, make sure that you have your Amazon S3 full access shown here. And once you have everything, click create row. That's the next step. The next thing we need to do is create a security group. So it's just a firewall for our EC2 instance. So we'll come to EC2. We would create a security group. Select security group on the left side over here and create security group. The security group name, you can give it any name. I'll call it EC2SG. And for the description, I'll call it EC2 security group. And under the inbound rules, we'll add rule. The first rule we want to add is the SSH rule. And that will allow us to be able to remote into our EC2 instance and transfer the file and run the command we want to run to transfer our files from S3 to the EC2 instance. So we'll come down select SSH. For best practice, it is best to always limit SSH into your EC2 instance to your IP address. But for this tutorial, I'll just leave it at 0.0, .0 because um, I'm going to delete this afterwards. Um, we'll add another rule, HTTP. Again, we'll put this at 0, which means anywhere in the world. So any IP, any IP address from anywhere in the world can access this EC2 instance. That's what the 0.0, .0 means. We would um, add another rule and HTTPS and we'll leave it at zero. 
to. And once you have all your rule, come down and click create security group. Next, we need a key pair. I think in my first tutorial, I had a key pair, but I didn't explain how I got it. And it was confusing for someone who is new to AWS. So on still on your EC2, inst uh, EC2 instance in the management console, come down, you see key pairs, select it. We will click create key pair. Let's give it a name. I'll call it EC2 Keeper. One of the good things AWS did now is they allow you to download a PPK file to SSH in using Party. So now you don't really have to convert the pen file to PPK because you can download the PPK files directly. Give your EC2 Keeper, your Keeper a name. Select the PPK and click Create Keeper. And once you click Create Keeper, it is going to download it to your downloads folder or wherever you download files to on your computer. I'm going to right click on this show in folder just to show you. And that's the key pair. So that's the next step. Good. So we have all the things we need. The next thing we need to do is run our EC2 instance. So come back, select EC2, run an instance and launch instance. We will select the Amazon Linux AMI and we click next to configuration. On the configuration stage, this is very important. Under the IAM row, click in there and select the S3 full access row we created. This is very important because this gives this EC2 permission to be able to download the files from S3. Once we select that, we can leave everything as default. Click next for storage and next again and next and on that security group select existing security group and we will select the EC2 SG and click review and launch and the, for the key pair again we will select the key pair we create which is the EC2 key pair acknowledge and launch instance so while our instance is running the next thing we will do is we need to SSH into our EC2 instance to install our web files so we can be able to access our website. And how we would do that in this tutorial, the example that I will use is we will use PuDy to SSH into our EC2 instance. And to use PuDy, make you have to download the, the app, I guess. So come to the next tab and just on Google, type in PuDy, and you should see this on the first one that has the greenend.org.uk I'll select this and it will bring you to this page and select download it here and up here under the package if you select based on which one you want whether it's 32 bit or 64 it will download the entire package which is all these apps that are down here but if you just need to use the app individually which is what I do. Just come down here and you can select the app you want. For this tutorial to SSH into our EC2 instance, we need the just the regular party, this party exe. So based on which version you want, just click this to download it. So it will download it to your downloads folder and all you have to do is click to run it. So once you click it, for example, this page should come up. Click this party.exe and once it's down, done downloading, click it to launch it. So I will click party to launch it and now we want to SSH into our EC2 instance. So let's see if our EC2 instance is done running. So I will select this and yes, I have my public IP address. Copy that IP address. Come to your party. First thing we want to do is select this plus on the SSH and come down to Auth, select Auth, Browse, select the key pair we create. We create it, click Open. It will go back up again for my appearance. I'm going to change my font so you can see clearly, but that step you don't have to do it, but if you need to change your font, that's how you change it. Then we'll come back to Session and on that session, we will type EC2 user, EC2 hyphen user, 
at then we will paste that IP address we copied to which is this IP address we'll paste it there and click open we select yes and now we are in our EC2 instance and from here we are pretty much done the next thing we need to do is just run this command and I've copied them here so you can see and I'll include these commands in the description for the video so the first thing we'll do is change to root user so we do the sudo su we will try to update our web server or ec2 instance if there's any update or patches there isn't any which is good we would now run this command to install the um, apache web server on our ec2 instance so once we click the yum install httpd it will install the apache web server then we can next we can just run this check config httpd command next we will change the directory to the directory where we need to um, copy all of our web files so we change directory to the var www.html directory so all cd means is change directory and you are telling it it needs to go into this folder this folder this folder but on an instance in linux they call it directory so it's just like when you have multiple folders on your computer and you click one folder to go into the subfolder that's what this is but on the ac2 instance or in linux they call it directory press enter notice we were in the ec2 user folder now we are in the html folder the next thing we need to do is we need to run the command to copy the files from s3 to our ec2 instance and to do that we will use this aws s3 sync command so this is the command and i can show you on the aws website where you can get it so under the aws documentation on the s3 service s3 and ec2 you should see this command i'll leave the link in the description as well so i've copied the link into my notepad so all that is saying is you put this command and right here is the, your bucket name so let's go back to s3 my bucket name is the the test labby bucket that i created so select your bucket name up here copy and come back to my notepad and right where just where it says the remote s3 bucket i'll paste my bucket name there and the local directory is the directory where we want to install our file and that will be the var the directory we are currently in which is the var www.html so i'll copy that in here paste remember the first part is your bucket name and the second part is the directory you want to copy your files into we now have our full command so select it copy let's come back to our ssh paste that command in there and press enter and you can see now it says downloaded from s3 this bucket this file downloaded that file pretty much downloaded all the files in our s3 bucket now if we type in ls to list what is in our html directory you can see this file all this file so let me minimize this let me open the folder for my web file and i would open the ssh2 so you can see the css css index index js js folder license license dot, dot text readme.txt readme.txt so it has transferred all the copy all the files from our local directory into our ic2 instance so pretty much we're ready the next thing the last command we need to run is the um, service that just to start the web server so we'll click copy we'll copy this command and paste it here and press enter so starting httpd and we're good to go so now all we have to do is come back to ec2 instance 
running instance I will select my running instance and copy that IP address the public IP address open a new tab I'll paste the IP address in there and press enter and there you go you see our website is perfectly working and we've configured everything correctly so this is how you launch a web your website on an EC2 instance I hope I've been able to explain all the steps and if there's anything you don't understand please leave a comment and for those that are more advanced that are watching you can also leave a comment to help others that may not understand if there's any step I've missed please leave a comment for other people to to just explain it in a better way um, thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye